As we continue to explore uh, John 17, it's the prayer Jesus prayed the night he was arrested. Um, just going to jump right in this time with verse 10. Jesus prays this, all mine are yours. He's praying to God, of course. All mine are yours and yours are mine and I am glorified in them. And I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world and I'm coming to you. Holy Father, keep them in your name, which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. This whole little mini-series is called One, and we're starting to see why here as we progress little by little. Uh, Jesus' focus here is that he, he's praying that his followers would be one with God and with each other in the same way that he's one with his Father and with the Spirit. And obviously, there's always going to be differences. We are not God. We are not the supernatural, amazing, other levels of all of this that he is. And yet there's no way to really miss what he's saying here. He expects the way that his family works together, the way his family submits to God and to each other in love and in the same shared purpose. He expects that to look a lot like the way he submits and works with the Father and the Spirit. He expects us to make God more appealing because we're revealing who he really is. The word in there is glorify in the scriptures. This is my encouragement to you today. Maybe you've always found unity with Christians. Maybe you've always found, maybe you're, you just love church and small groups and prayer times and whatever else. But my encouragement is to maybe invest in that even more. And if you find yourself really drawing away from the church, maybe you've been hurt somehow, maybe, maybe for whatever reason some other Christians have let you down or you've let them down or I don't know what the problem may be. Remember that this was what Jesus had in mind. This is what Jesus prayed for you and for me. And let's find a way to reconnect, to truly be one. <laughs>